folks, it's Ross. We're back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you for being on this journey with me. It's truly a blessing to know that we connect in so many different ways. We have a lot more in common than we truly do. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is being very informative to you and giving you good vibes and, you know, um, you know, good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, that, or even that fellow empath going through some really trying times and they need confirmation or validation towards a life purpose or soul path, please go ahead and share them while you're at it. Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for the love and support, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Um, I mean, sorry. The meditation music I'm listening to is called Remove Negative Thoughts and Subconscious Blockages, Meditation Music for Positive Energy. And I'll post that link in the description box below. It has me feeling very... Oh, excuse me. It has me feeling very, like, calm and relaxed. You know, like I don't have me like a nice hot bubble bath you know with like candles and incense all over the place and but my video today is about twin flame 101 remember your hard work your hard efforts and um let me see remember your hard efforts and attitude are going to yield great results no matter what your current you're currently going through and that's so so true you know we can go through so many hectic things you know the universe allows us to say you know what i'm not having a good day and we're expressing to them why we feel like this what we're trying to let go of or if you haven't done that your best bet like when you're having a bad day and you're by yourself you're not you know but you're not being hateful about it you know it's just like universe i'm so tired of going through this i really wish that you know can you help me be you know see things in a better light or can you allow me to be able to release this or help me release you know this anxiousness this this negative attitude this impatience you know um me being concerned you know they the worries they want you to be able, that's what they're there for they want to be able to help you you know um heal from the things that has been placed in your life yes you're going through a trying situation right now because you had to go through that process you had to experience these situations so you can see what you need to heal from what you need to let go of um being able to see things in a different perspective being able to heal it's like my situation it allowed me to learn patience it allowed me to be able to trust in the unseen being able to have confidence within myself um letting go of a lot of things i grew up holding grudges for a long time i mean if somebody could have croaked and i would still be mad at you <laughs> and you know and i used to get frustrated when i even see my dad you know before i even acknowledged him being my dad i always like wow you know somebody will say something to him or either he'll blow it off or he'll have that look on his face or somebody says something to him and he'll be like oh man i'm sorry you know i was thinking about i forgot the girl's name she was on uh, new girl I think that's the, the show my dad had a segment on there and he was eating pancakes for her and she was like he, he said something like oh that's stupid he's like she was like no you're stupid and she was like oh god I did not just call Prince stupid he was like he's, he's like I'm so sorry he's like oh it's okay you know he said but eat those pancakes or whatever he was so quick to be able to forgive people and I didn't understand why he did that but then I had to really think about it it's just like you're putting your energy on something that's already unpassed yeah words you can't take back so 
you have to be mindful of how you discuss things with people. There's a lot of times I had to learn to just walk off and not say anything. Or you, when you try to see somebody who's trying to pull you into that negativity, you have to be able to pull them into where you're being peace. You're feeling love. You're feeling nurtured. You know, if they don't feel that, hey, let them go ahead and be in that negative that negative limbo with them by themselves. Because you don't need to be able to. That's too much energy that you're placing in something that's going to keep you at a low frequency. And I had to learn that about my sick experience. Being able to see that things that was placed in my life that has hurt me so bad. But being able to, it feels good when you can be able to take your power back and say, you know what, you're not affecting my life like you used to. You know, there's times that I, I really felt that way. Even when there was times I felt like I struggled when I truly didn't have to, you know, live in a life that people took away from me so they can be able to live that, you know, thinking that, you know, somebody being a judge and jury over my happiness and in my life. And when I allowed, you know, even though they might have took that financial away from me, it allowed me to be able to see that not everything has to be so materialistic. You know, they are materialistic, you know, and I always told them, you know, as quick as God blessed you with that is the quickest, you know, it can be taken away, even though God didn't do that. You know, when you lie and you have to deceive and cheat to do things, it tends to have a natural reaction to you. Might They might have been going at it for a long time. But trust and believe, when people do things to you, and it can be very hurtful, and you just want God to, like, smack that karma back on them, and you feel like it's taking too long, and you want to take justice in your own hands, it makes you know better than the person that inflicted that on you. So it's just like you have to be able to sit back allow you see things unfold within themselves there's so many people that has done things to me and i was so hurt and now it's just like when i see things happen it might not come out like they they had put it out you know there's sometimes things happen to people and they keep their mouth shut about it and you're like you know you get irritated like why aren't they feeling this karma why don't think that they're not when they're pushing out insecurities that means they're they're, they're being pressed but it's not the way they put it out. They don't even notice that things are starting to happen. You might not even notice it. You know, some people have shared the things that they have, you know, they're having come at them. And there was plenty of times I could have laughed and say, oh, honey, served your ass right. You should have been messing with me. But then I did not do that. I was just like, oh, well, I'm sorry that that happened to you. You know, because there used to be times I used to crack up laughing, thinking, ah, how you deserve that. Don't do that, because as soon, as soon as you do that, next thing you know, you're going to slip and broke something. You know, I, I just had to learn to be able to see that, you know, when people have placed things on your life, and you know, you've probably seen this before, like on social media, where it says your enemies will be your footstool, or people that have hurt you, karma has a funny way of allowing them to feel what they don't put others through, or when God blesses you, he's going to bless you in front of the people that try to break you. All those things are true, you know, because you know you have better things coming in your life, but you have to be able to see them, those things for what they truly are because your blessings are a lot more bigger than things that people are trying to do to you. And it took me a long time to be able to see that. It took me, you know, a long time to be able to heal from my, my things and see it as at a deeper level in that positive perspective. Being able to see this is this is made me so much wiser. I would have never knew who I was. All these gifts that was placed on my life, I would have never known how I was gonna be able to help different people that were struggling like me if I didn't go through this situation. So I'm glad that they put me through this. The only thing that sucked is just the fact is that I had to lose communication with my dad. You know, those are the things that really sucked to me. But I can't keep running back to things that I know I can't change. When when we have that power, we take our power back from that shoulda, coulda, woulda, or anything like that. You can't change the past, no matter how bad we want to. Yeah, there's things I would have did differently. There would have been a lot of things I would have did differently, but everything happened the way they happened for a reason. Everything happens in your life the way it's supposed to happen for a reason, because it allows you to wake up and see things for what they truly are, seeing what your purpose was behind that painful situation that has been placed on you, being able to give you that confidence, that power within yourself, being able to not go about things 
or taking care of things like you used to. That was your 3D person. Now when you're in that 4 or 5 or 6D person that has awakened and seeing things and how they connect and seeing how things really work in the real world, it allows you to, you know, take yourself through that boot camp of being able to have love, have knowledge, have power in, in, within yourself, have that confidence within yourself, not being insecure about the things that have been placed in your life, and being able to see things for how they go as soon as I see them fall by to lit up. But, you know, going through these things has taught me so many things about myself that I'm happy I was able to discover. You know, when going on that road of discovery, it can be a scary road. But it'll, that definitely one thing I can tell you, it'll be damn interesting. Because there's a lot of things you'll be looking like, are you serious? Is this what I've always been going through? Or is this my life? It might seem surreal when you start seeing the magical things that goes on in your life or the things that you're capable of doing for yourself as well as others. And then when the things that you, you know, when you have that positive attitude about things, and sometimes it's hard to have, especially when you're going through really trying times, you have to know there, there's a higher power uh, that's working this out for you. Um, have trust within yourself as well as in the universe that better days are coming for you. It's not going to always be like this. You know, you're going through different situations. You have to keep telling yourself it's not going to always be like this. Yeah, you're getting tired of going through it, you know, but the universe sees the efforts you're putting in. They see the fact is, you know, even through hard times, it's not every day. It's not going to be a joyful, joyful day, but you try to find a blessing throughout that day. You know, I was just like, yeah, I might have been broke. But, you know, I'm thankful God gave me that peace of mind that I can get through this day to have everything that I needed. Because it's like a lot of things that we're trying to manifest is already within ourselves. You know, you'll start noticing that things that you want in your life are starting to slowly manifest. And when they start slowly manifesting, that's when the big blessings come in. But you have to be grateful for those little situations that pop into your life that are, you know, are working for you. When you start showing that, that the universe world of gratitude, that speeds up your process. When you let go of, you know, the people that have done you harm, that speeds up your process. When you allow those people, if they're in your face, you know, I was going through my situation and it's like, I didn't want to have eye contact <laughs> with the folks that did anything to me when I connected with them a few weeks ago. Well, yeah, two, three weeks ago. And then I usually have my sunglasses on so I don't have, you know, that kind of contact. But they would have knew something was up. I was trying to shield myself. So I accidentally forgot my sunglasses at home because I didn't drive. I usually keep mine in my truck. And it was just like, dang, I forgot my, my glasses. And my daughter was like, mm, just to hide behind no faces, huh? I'm like, girl, shut up and keep your eyes. <laughs> so she already knew what I was doing. But they had to be able to see that I can look them right directly in their eye knowing the things you did to me does no, no no longer affect me. And when people, like I told y'all before, when you have that right to be enraged with things that happen in your life and you're actually not, and you stay calm and you're talking to them like I'm talking to you, that scares people more than it does when you, you, you know, you ripping and running, yelling and threatening and stuff like that. Because that lets them know, oh, I still got that person. They're right back where I want them to be. You know, a lot of people love that. Well, people that do things to you, they love to be able to see you sweat. They love to be able to know that they got under your skin. When you can talk to somebody peace and calm, they have to know in the back of their mind, all oh, hell, it's always calm before the storm. It is. <laughs> you might not know what is coming, but at least you can sit up here and say that people don't have you pegged. It's like with my mom's ex-husband and his wife. They knew my weaknesses. You know, they were trying to reel me in with my, uh, with her son, my stepbrother. They knew I loved my brother behind all measures. And now when I felt like, oh yeah, all of y'all in cahoots about my life and y'all know, y'all trying to keep it secret. You know, they were like, oh, you know, your brother misses you. When people miss you, they tend to call you, reach out because he knew he was wrong. So I said, I accepted it. And I also told him, oh, he'll be all right. Because <laughs> I already knew they were going to use him as a pawn just to be getting information out of me so they can keep step two step forward. I'm not allowing y'all to get in my life like that. You know, and being able, just because you forgive somebody is not telling them you forgive their actions. You're forgiving what they, you know, they're, you're excusing their actions. You're excusing what they did to you. No, you need that peace of mind in your life. You do. You need to take that back. 
And when God sees that you're not keep on trying to, you know, put your claws into stuff like that, I'm telling you, that's when your blessings start really coming in because they don't know, they can't be able to peg you and know when things are about to happen. When people don't know your next steps and don't know what you're doing next, that scares the hell out of them because they don't know what's coming. You know, because when you're too calm, when you need to be enraged about stuff, that's the most sweet revenge you can actually do is actually be happy in front of those folks that you to really tear your world apart. And I had to learn that. And I tell God about this. I know you're tired of hearing it. But I'm so glad that you allowed me to go through this situation. And me being able to, you know, take my power back in so many different ways. So it's just like being able to do that. That was a big step for me. You know, and not to be keep talking about it. But I use that as a, you know, example of when you go through things. It's just like, you know, you have had people in your life. I know a lot of empaths have went through abuse in one shape, form, or fashion. And it's just even when I was just watching Crime Daily today, Crime Watch Daily, it was, you know, a woman that was being attacked by a police officer now. He tried to rape her in her own car, put her, held her at gunpoint, pistol whipped her. And she didn't even know he was a, a daggone cop till his dumb ass left his damn <laughs> gun in the car. And then they found it, and then the cops started freaking out, like, the only time, because he had his number, his name on the magazine, that's what was crazy. And then try to act like, oh, you know, I'm bipolar, or I took this new medicine. It was like, okay, yeah, you can take a new medicine, but that don't mean you're going to go start taking pictures of people nude and threatening to kill them because of this, this, that, and the fourth. And all of a sudden, homeboy got caught up, and obviously, you can tell that wasn't his first time doing that for you to be you know, going that route, but it's just like, it, it's amazing how life turns out for us when things like that really happen, and that woman had every right to be angry, you know, and she was scared because the fact is he was a cop, so she was thinking something was going to happen to her because he was a cop, so they protected her, and then the guy, sad thing is the guy had to do a lot of time because of the things he did. He ended up taking his own life. And before she knew that, she had already forgave him. And she told her that she had to say that was the hardest thing for me to do. But if I was going to live my life, I had to be able to forgive that man for doing that to me. And, and he ended up killing himself because he wasn't able to deal with those things, being up in jail in places that he don't set other people. So you just have to be amazed and watch how universe works out for you. They know you're working hard for things. They know that you're trying to conquer a lot of things that you need in your life. But you have to be able to keep that faith within yourself as well as the universe. I'm not about to do a whole intro because I just noticed that it's almost close to 18 minutes. So I'll see y'all in my next video. Much love. Let me know if you resonate. Peace. Be wild.